So everybody, it's your boy ENC here, and as you see the picture, uh, the quality of this video is different because I'm using a different phone right now. Because my original phone I'm using right now has this does not have enough space for me to make a big video like this. I have 36, I have 36 like minutes on this on this phone, so that's good. But, but anyway, let's get into it. The, I want to talk about the the free agents that the Eagles have. Eagles have. That, I mean the Eagles. Eagles free agents that will be free agents this year rather than the draft and there are a couple of free agents I actually do want and there are some free agents that aren't like key three free agents that free agents that they don't want in that place they don't want and they're gonna be free agents I think I know what they're gonna do to those do about that okay but but here's the the number one guy that we need to the Eagles need to resign is Nigel Brown right they need to resign him right right away. They should have resigned him after the Super Bowl, okay? That's what I'm thinking, okay? I mean, here's the thing. Like, to, like Howard Rose made uh, a couple of good moves during the, during, during, the regular, during the regular season by, like, extending Jernigan and Alshon Jeffrey to big deals to them. I'm glad about that. Good move by him. And, but here's the thing. I really wish he could have extended Nigel Brown during that time, too, okay? But, here's the thing. Nigel Brown is one of our best linebackers, okay? He's one of our best Ever since Jordan, ever since him, ever since Jordan Hicks down went down, he had he had this he had him and Michael had, Kedrick had to step up a little bit. He's been stepping up more. Don't get me wrong, Kedrick's just been good. He's been good so far. Don't get me wrong, he's been good. But it's a, but as a Brown, he's just been better. Okay, he's just been better. He's been good. So we just need to resign him t as well. All right, and another dude, and another dude that I think we should resign is Garrett Blunt. Okay. Some people say, oh, no, we don't need LeGarrette Blunt. Dude, the dude's a freaking monster. I don't care what anyone else says. Look, we need a power force on this team, okay? Because Ajaya and, don't get me wrong, Ajaya and Clement are beasts as heck, but they're just not as strong as Blunt, okay? Because Blunt, he's not a runner. He's like a tank, okay? That's, like, he's a power back, okay? He's not a running back. He's a power back, in my opinion, okay? And it's like... We gonna need him for, like, those, t those tough times. Like, we need to... We need someone to just like power the way through, power the way through stuff like that, and that's the kind of dude I want. And here's the thing: if the Eagles don't resign Legarrette Blunt, if they're gonna let him go, he's a th he's a guy in the draft. I think we should pick the guy from Alabama, from Alabama State, Bo Scarborough. The dude is a freaking monster. Okay, that's a dude who, if we don't sign LeGarrette Blunt, that's a dude I want the Eagles to draft. The dude's from Alabama. The dude's a freaking monster. He's like 6'2", and he is that fast. Okay, like, this dude's a monster. Alabama always have a monster as a running back. Like, like even when Bo, when Bo Scarborough gets drafted, they already have his replacement. They have a guy named Najee Harris. Najee Harris, I saw a little bit in the NCAA football championship. And he he saw he was kind of impressive. That dude is their future running back. The dude's like him and him are both also the same height. It's like like Alabama always have monsters as their running backs. Like they don't they don't want you know small they don't want no small running back that's like five ten five nine five eight. No, they want a big power back. All right, and it's like it's like here's one second. Like, Damn, I forgot what I was forget, I was thinking of. They always they always run a running back that's taller, possibly even taller than their quarterback. It's like that's ridiculous, man. That is just ridiculous, in my opinion. That is just straight up, um, unhuman. All right. It's like these guys have the best running, always have the best running backs. All right. Like I said, don't if we don't resign Lakeira Blunt, we better get Bo Scarborough. Okay. I want that dude. All right. But yeah, man. Also, another dude who I think we should resign. Y'all are going to say this is stupid, but I say we should resign this dude for one more year because I like this dude, but he want, he may retire after this year. Darren Sproles. Okay, his, his season was cut short because he had a broken arm and the torn ACL, all right? I mean, it's... <laughs> Like some people might think that's retire after that. No, he wants to he wants to play one more year. Okay, I heard that's what I heard. He wants to retire after this year. So I said just give him one more year, like a one year deal. I think the Eagles could possibly do that. It's like because like sometimes he's a key to like he's a key player to one of, to this team. Okay, he, he's definitely a damn good punt returner. Let's be honest. Like like the way this man can just make plays happen when he returning the ball. This dude is good. 
All right, and other, another dude who I think we should just let go, um, Caleb Sturgis. Um, and don't get me wrong, he's a good kicker. He's gonna find. I say just let him go to free agency and probably let probably let the Seahawks or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers take him because those two teams need a damn kicker. I don't know what the heck. Blair Wolf's Nick Folk were trash as fuck. Especially Blair Wolf's that dude. I would have crucified that dude after what he after he missed that field goal. I would have crucified that dude. I was like, dang, bro. But yeah, man. I said we just let Kale Sturgis go since we have Jake Elliott. And uh, uh, like you said, like I said, he's gonna be stuck be signed to a team that needs a kicker badly. But yeah, man. If, heck, who knows? Probably even the New England Patriots. Don't ask why. You know, Goskowski. You know, you know, man. But yeah, man. By the way, Daniel Elbert, Elbert. Yeah, say we just let him go. I don't know what happened to that dude. Will, Will Beatty, go. Let him go. Brian Bremen, let go. Naji Good, probably just let go. Kenny John Bonner, yeah, we just. I think Prison Eagles are just gonna let him go. They don't need him. They really just don't need him. They just used him, used him as a replacement for Sproul since he was out. And another dude. Also, Bo Allen. Yeah, I think they're just going to let him go. By the way, the whole Nakam Seuss thing. I know some people have so many mixed reactions to this. Saying some people don't. Some Eagles fans want him. And some Eagles fans don't want him. The reason why some Eagles fans don't want him is because the dirty shit he does. I can understand that. The dude's a dirty player sometimes. He's a dirty player sometimes. Don't get me wrong. I've seen some shit. Yeah, he just stops. Okay, but let's be honest. He'd be better than Bo Allen. I got nothing against Bo, but let's be honest. Nakong Namakon Su is just better. Okay, he's just better. If he's willing to play for like a one-year deal for like what a million dollars, that'd be a cool deal. I'm not missing out on that shit. Okay, okay. Usually players who just play for like that, they just ball out. If there's like big cash money, they would say, oh, okay, I don't give a shit. Okay, but money like that is something that they'll play for. All right. And also another dude. Uh, to the defense, I feel sure the Eagles are just gonna let this dude go because they really just don't care. Because they already got plans for this. Patrick Robinson, I get it. the dude's been good this year. He this is basically a comeback year for him. Um, after he had, had some horrible seasons back in the past, but yeah, man, he had a very good, pretty good year with us. But yeah, I think the Eagles are gonna let him go just for some cash fees. Why? But but we need a cornerback. That's what we. What do you think we drafted Sidney Jones for? Okay, I get it. okay. But here's the thing, Sidney Jones is never going to be like what we think if we don't start him, okay? Let's be honest, that was the main point why we drafted him, because we need a starting cornerback. The reason why, and like you said, like I said, um, I heard this from a lot of people, if it wasn't for that Achilles injury he had right, right, right before the draft, I think, he would have been drafted higher. Like, he probably would have been drafted by the Eagles, he would have been drafted higher by another team. Like... That's how good this guy was, but for, for, for that Achilles injury, that caught, that just made him get lower drafted. But yeah, man, I think now down that he's fully cleared next season, they're gonna start him if they're, since they're gonna let him since they're gonna let Patrick Robinson go. So that's so that's what the Eagles are gonna do. But I'm okay with it actually. I'm okay with it, okay? Cause like I want to see what Cindy Jones can do. I really want to see what he can do. And also this one, also Corey Graham. And probably just sign him for like a two year or one year or one more year deal, okay? I don't know. But he was a free that out. But another dude, Trey Burton. This so many people had so many disputes about this. Don't get me wrong, he's good after he made that throw to Nick Foles at the Super Bowl to him, that was good. But can I be honest, I may just let him I would just let him go. Cause anyway we got we got enough good tight ends. I get it. he's a fullback. It's like he's a good he's a good fullback. But here's the thing. That's why I would keep Legarrette Blunt because he could be a full because he would be more of a fullback as himself too. And and at least in Trey Burton could let me could help us with cap space as well. And that, that's why that's why this thing. I think the Eagles are gonna let him go as well alongside alongside with the rest. I just said and. Like I said, we sign Nigel Brown as fast as possible. And I think the Eagles are going to try to clear all the rest that they have. Clear, try to fix everything else they have in the draft, okay? And I think we're like 32 overall pick. We have a 32 overall pick in the first round, got it. 
So that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to find out back then. I'm also by the way, Kiba, I'm gonna make a video about about a team about, about a couple of NFL teams that need the players that the kind of players that they need on their team in the draft. All right. Um. So be, so watch out for that. But anyways, that's why that's who I think that the Eagles are gonna let go and who the Eagles I think they should let go and and players who I think they should resign. All right. Tell me what you think. Tell me who you think. The Eagles should resign, resign and let go. Tell me in the comment section below.